Hi there, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in West Los Angeles, and today I'm going to show you how to butterfly a chicken breast. Sometimes you can procure a butterfly chicken breast from a, uh, a butcher, it would have to be a specialized butcher, sometimes they call it a, a chicken front. Basically what we're gonna be looking to do with our whole chicken is cut away the uh, chicken breast from the rest of the body, and then we're gonna wind up taking out the uh, keel bone and the breast bone, and keep both halves of the uh, breast meat intact. So as you can imagine from that shape of the cut of chicken, you're not gonna find this in a pre-package at the supermarket. Somebody's gonna have to do it for you or you could do it yourself right now. Whole chicken is definitely gonna be necessary. We're going to uh, basically run through a little bit of identification on the chicken. Here we have the wings, here we have legs and thighs, and then running along the back, of course, is the backbone. To start off with, in order to separate the uh, breast from the chicken itself, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the wings, and I'm gonna use the wings for something else. A boning knife is gonna be really helpful for this. Pick the chicken up by the wing, and right where you can see the wing bone meet up with uh, the breast along the side here, we're gonna make a little cut into the skin and into the meat slightly until we actually start to see the very end of the wing bone right here, this big piece of cartilage. We're gonna cut right underneath that, and basically separate the wing from the breast. Do the same thing on the other side. You can actually let gravity help you out a little bit here. Hold the chicken on up, cut where the skin is stretching as you can see. And as the chicken starts to fall under the gravity, you could see the end of the wing bone. Cut underneath that. Then I, at this point, I'll wind up going into um, my uh, chef's knife and I'm gonna basically start to separate the uh, breast from the leg and the thigh and from the backbone. So I lay the uh, chicken breast uh, on its chest. Uh, here is the backbone, the neck, and the tail. And I'm gonna wind up utilizing a chef's knife and basically cut on both sides of the backbone all the way through. And I'm gonna have to work around right where the uh, thigh bone meets up with the back. You could use your boning knife as well. Actually, either one will wind up working fine. Make sure as you start to cut that you don't cut too far forward or else the tip of the knife is gonna start to hit into the breast. You might even find it's easier to stand the chicken on up like this. I'm gonna come in with my chef's knife, lightly hold on to the neck, and I'm gonna cut on this side of the neck all the way down, and then move over and cut on this side of the neck. You're gonna hear a little bit of clicking as I do this. I'm gonna actually start to get the knife to cut into, uh, through some very delicate rib bones. So make sure your knife is nice and sharp. And as I start to cut down, you can see how it easily it cuts away, and then very shortly I run into where the thigh bone meets up with the backbone. I'm gonna pop that thigh a little bit. Then I'm gonna have the chicken laying on its breast. I'm gonna start to cut down towards the tail. And basically start to cut the backbone away from the thigh and the leg. You can even give it a little separation with your fingers. You come in here, cut that away. And now the chicken is basically opened up. Here we have our, the remaining half of our backbone that we're gonna have to cut away. Lightly hold on to the backbone, cut along here. Once you start to get up to the thigh, I'm just gonna reach around and feel where the thigh is and give it a little pop. This is right here at this cut is where the thigh bone meets up with the backbone. Cut along there. Separate that. That you could actually save and uh, throw into a uh, pot, cover it up with some water and make some chicken stock out of it. Now our uh, uh, backbone is removed. We still have some legs and thighs. If I flip the chicken on over to butterfly our chicken breast, we're basically gonna be working with this. So with the chicken turned around, I wanna try and keep as much skin on the breast as possible. Basically take my knife and I cut right through here to remove this leg and thigh, and then cut through here to remove this leg and thigh. There we 
are. We have legs and thighs and wings that we can use for something else like a coco van or a chicken stew. And here is our whole chicken breast. If I turn it over again, after the backbone's been removed, you can see the keel bone and the breast bone. This is gonna wind up being removed in order to create a nice, a nice butterfly. The easiest way to take out this is we're gonna wind up taking a knife. You can use your chef's knife again. I usually use my uh, boning knife. And I'm gonna make a very, very slight cut not too deep, I just want to be able to get into and get through a little bit of connective tissue that I'll just peel away here, you can start to see it. I want to get through that. And then the easiest way to take out this bone after you make this little cut or a score is go ahead and grab a hold of the breast by the top of the breast or the shoulder area. Bring the breast on over, get your thumb, thumbs right in the middle of the breast here and we're basically going to bend the breast in half like that. And you can see that the keel bone starts to get exposed. There we are. And then you can come in with your hands, basically peel that bone on out. With a, a little bit of finger work, you can see that the bone easily pops out. We do have a little bit of cartilage on both sides of the chicken breast. That can easily be removed by just simply, I get my thumb on one side of the piece of cartilage and start to move it towards the tip of the chicken breast. And I can grab a hold of that up at the top here. Pull that on out. Got one on the other side as well. All these pieces here, this keel bone and this little bit of cartilage are really great to throw into a stock pot. And you'll actually see this keel bone is uh, still attached to uh, a little bit of ribbing. And I'm gonna actually take these rib bones out. Very easily done with a boning knife. Just gonna simply get my boning knife underneath those ribs and very gently get underneath and cut away. Do the same thing on the other side here. Where I'll actually take my knife and I'm gonna get underneath the bone. I'm gonna angle my knife upward a little bit because I don't wanna cut too deep into the meat. What I also have with these rib bones right up towards the top or the shoulder of the chicken breast is I actually have a little bit of the clavicle. And as I start to expose, I could actually see the end of the joint. And very much like the wing bone, I'm gonna cut right in between that joint and the breast itself up near the shoulder here. Separate that. You can even give it a little pull. There we go. That's all good for a stock pot as well. Okay, got a little bit of bone right there. Get underneath that, cut that away. And we also have the wishbone, which is laying right inside here. It's actually broken right up at the front, but you can see the very ends of them. You could even grab a hold of those guys, and if you have a really good grip, you can just start to pull them a little bit. I'm actually gonna take my knife and kind of gently just cut them out and then that's gonna go into my stock pot as well. Another one laying right here, the other half that is, I'm just gonna get underneath it, cut that away. Almost ready to be butterflied. One of the things that you'll notice after the rib bones come on out, I've got a couple of secondary muscles laying right here so with these little white connective uh, tissues attached. These are the chicken tenders. You're gonna wind up taking these out. You'll see that they easily just grab the top and they easily just pull away. There's one. Here's the other. These guys I'll wind up saving and I can chop them up and, or cut them up into bite-sized pieces and use them for a stir fry, something like that. We're gonna clean up a little bit of the fat and a little bit of the skin that's laying on the chicken itself. Got a little bit of extra meat right here. We're gonna trim that off. Maybe a little bit of connective tissue right here. We can get underneath that and cut that away. A little bit of fat lying right along here. We can trim that. 
this guy on over. Straighten out the skin. And there you have it, a butterflied whole chicken breast, boneless, ready to go into the oven or go on to the grill and very quick cooking without the bone and a fairly thin thickness of meat. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.